Welcome back to Clubhouse episode four. We've got a jam-packed show this week. Uh, the boys talk about their F1. Munster's Ferrari parked out the front here. Munster also talks about how he's carrying on from his injury. He reckons he was out for the season last week, but he's had a miraculous recovery. He reckons he'll be back in a few weeks. And we also talk about our bye week plan. So tune in. Let's get into the show. Rick's Eyewear is having a massive end of season sale right now, and we've got an elite offer that's exclusively for the clubhouse. Get up to 65% off and a free gift if you spend over $250. Use our code CLUBHOUSE and you'll receive an extra 5% off site-wide. This offer won't last long, so don't miss out. Clubhouse, welcome back, lads. It's uh, good to be back by week this week, so plenty happening, plenty to talk about, and uh, yeah, plenty that's gone past this previous week. So we'll start with that, lads. What have you been up to? Oh, look, I was uh, lucky enough to uh, jump in the F1 Ferrari gala night on the Thursday. Um, mm. Everyone at the club Very was flash. obviously uh, into me about going, but um, funny enough, it wasn't actually me that got the tickets. It was <laughs> my beautiful wife. Um, her friend works for a company and um, obviously has a contract with Ferrari. So, uh, yeah, got us in the gala night. Um, and then um, obviously we're lucky enough to go and watch the race on Saturday. So, um, mate, what? it's crazy um, how, how nice and how – why, why so many people go to the Ferrari tent or the Merc tent? Um, I know one thing. I won't be going in general mission ever again after looking at that. <laughs> yeah, you're um, so you're man. a plus one. That what you're I, to I say. was a plus one, yeah. Um, spoke to a couple of high rollers at the Ferrari. Now I'm going to be there every year. I've already uh, put it down there. <laughs> put my two bits in and started networking. Network. Is that your Ferrari at the front as well? They yeah. loan you that yeah, car? Yeah, to buy one and get in there. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, lo- obviously for the first couple of weeks, I'm just you know driving around. Um, <laughs> got the scissor doors. Um <laughs> So I can get my big rig in there. Mm. Uh, nah, look, it's uh, it was a nice weekend. It was nice to be going on Sunday, but I know Husey went there and and I uh, was drinking a nice a couple of pina coladas and getting caught mm. in the rain. So, what um what's a gala night consist of for those who have never been like myself yeah, myself. and Husey, like everyone else, like everyone else yeah, in the world? You, you talk us through how that night works out. And what'd you wear? Give us a little fit check. Uh, well, um, black and white tie, uh, yeah, um, men's club. Um, men's club. Funny enough, it was um, something that I've already worn to a. Um, um, obviously a presentation or, or awards night. Um, so yeah, I was looking pretty suave. Thanks to the men's club. Mm, um, shout out men's club. Little men's club, their little plug. <laughs> uh, the gala nights is pretty much, I've, I spoke to someone about it that, that night and, um, they just do every year Ferrari for F1 and, um, they bring out a new car every year. So, um, funny enough this year, I was lucky enough to go and they bought out an F90 XX and, um, it's the fastest road car they've ever got or they've ever made. Oh, wow. Um, it's a bit of, um, Petrol and hybrid, so electric as well. So it's their first ever hybrid car they've come out with um, on the road and it's the fastest at the moment. So they yeah. give you a price? Two and a half mil. Mm, it was sitting in the middle and I tried to take it out. And <laughs> <laughs> just looking around, dodgy <laughs> And, and, and the, the old keys. fast car trick, did they tell you how fast it goes from zero to 100? No, nah, I didn't ask him that. I probably should have perhaps. Um, being, a, being a pretty it Russian rev event, they would have been pretty quick, yeah. It's the fastest. It's their, fa- it's their, fast, mil. Mm, it's their fastest road car they've ever made, so. It's crazy to think. It's a bit of electric and um, petrol, so um, the world's in a great place by the sound of it. Beautiful. Husey, obviously you went to the race as well. Yeah, Sunday, yeah. was um, it? Yeah. My wife went on Sunday, race day. Um, prestige Global Events mm. looked after us. What's that? Uh, man, our main man, Finney, Paul Finn. You mm. guys know yeah, him, obviously. Yeah, no, <laughs> Run some great events. Finney, so dodgy um, man. He, <laughs> he's a dodgy <laughs> man. But, um, yeah, he got us in there, and that uh, was awesome to see. Um, the race was packed, like, mm. I don't know. There was a number of how many people rolled through that weekend. What do I, mean, I think it was four hundred thousand yeah. last year. So I think it was more. Yeah, I think it, it was more. it was more. So um, it was crazy, and yeah, they had nice little free drinks and free food. Got <coughs> oysters there, which oh, was stop it, which yeah. I loved. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Got a little bit horny walking out <laughs> there. So. Uh, but yeah, it was good. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, you know, a lot of people were getting on the booze and getting a bit rowdy and. So I thought I'd get out of there very quickly. Mm. Nah, that doesn't sound like nah, you. Yeah, what yeah, what so. part of the track were you is at? Did the last turn before the straight? Oh yeah, um, yeah. So I don't know what. It, yeah, the last turn, and then the straight. As I got to the yeah, straight. just before the uh, the pit stop, before they go on the pit. Is stop, that so. your both your first times there, or have you gone? No, nah, I went previous? last year. I went last you, year. I that was my first time last year. year. So yeah, I've been twice last now. Year. Yeah. Um, I didn't go race day last year, so race day was pretty cool to yeah. go to, like the main race. The thing that gets me about their funds is like the noise, hey? Like, yeah. You can hear it from freaking Richmond. You can hear it from Q. <laughs> yeah. it's legit yeah. could hear it from Q. <laughs> it's like so loud, but like it's something like it's somewhat like 
Definitely. Soothing, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it's like something about when it. When it's far though, like yeah. it's good. And when you start to get a little bit closer, it gets a bit, bit rowdy. Crazy but, how fast they go oh, too. Man, I was at the track and like looking out at the compass, and I was like, I can't even see the cars. Yeah, yeah. So I just started watching on the TV eventually because I couldn't literally see the cars. That's how yeah. fast I go. I reckon. So you watch them and they look quick, but I reckon they're actually going quicker than they look. I reckon. Like if you're in that car, mm -hmm. I reckon they're fly. <laughs> Has anyone done a, a track? Have hot you done lap? one? Yeah. Hot nah, lap? nah, never. No, I got asked. Nah. Tradie, yeah, yeah for trade trade, yeah, yeah, but I was too scared. Was that that'd be in like the V eight car though, wouldn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wouldn't be able to do it in F one. Like, nah, nah, there's no enough room. Really one, one, unless you're driving it, <laughs> <laughs> which uh, don't think we'll be going oh, slow around that course. I'll tell you that can, much. The only thing I hate about F one is after the race is done, waiting for a taxi and Uber. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, park. My, there's no parking. There's no parking, so. Yeah. I reckon we waited an hour and a half after the race just purely because we knew we couldn't get any transport. Yeah. Get on the train, mate. Uh, yeah. But even the, they had one they had one area for trains and trams, the other area for Uber shares and taxis, and both of them you couldn't yeah. even move. Absolute chaos. So, um, yeah, good luck to you if we've, you got on the train pretty quickly. We've tried our arm in it, go-karting. Did you guys go-kart that time? Yeah, yeah, you were good at it, actually. I remember you being yeah. good at were it. Were you up there? He was. I was up there. You were up there. Up there. I was up there. Yeah. yeah. Maz come late, stole the show. Yeah. 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 Maz, yeah. I reckon it was the cars, man. Because like, Maz yeah, was dog. Juice one, eh? Maz, Maz the, was yeah. terrible in my, my They heat. control it. They yeah. control the mm. speed on your cart. I right? nah. think they can. If yeah. you're coming last, there is no way <laughs> that your cart is the same speed as the top one. Like, really? I reckon they bump your speed up so you can catch them. There's got to be, oh, let's get some confirmation. If someone yeah, yeah. works yeah. in the go kart industry. Go yeah, because yeah, we're, because I beat Maz in my heat. And then he come home. And then flying. he came home for Maybe he was saving <laughs> well, it he was for like, the last. He, he, like, he came, he qualified eighth or something. Yeah, that's when I beat him. And, and then, he flew oh, home in the last yeah, lap. I'll tell you so. what, he was a dangerous driver, bro. He, and you were too, actually, now that I remember. <laughs> bro, these guys had thought it was bumper cars. <laughs> What's the, the run hell. rule they tell you when you first get in there? It's like, don't all right, guys, yeah, no like, bump. don't bump each other. Like, if you need to get around, just be polite about it. <laughs> and they had, like, these yeah. signs and, um, like, these um, – Flags, eh? Like, yeah. like, stop bumping and shit. They were they pretty much held it up the whole time for the boys. And then as soon as it goes orange, you're like meant to slow down, but the boys yeah, in the back were like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. They were telling everyone to slow down, and the boys at the back were trying to uh, see it as opportunity to get to the front. The best part was, was watching um, Nelson. Because he oh, only did one yeah. race because his back was gone, but he it looked, looked like, like Donkey Bowser. Kong in the yeah, end. Donkey Kong, <laughs> Bowser, and they were just sitting in and just going like that. <laughs> oh, mate, poor bastard. Oh. He had to go home. His back was cooked. That's <laughs> funny. Eh? We should do that again. Yeah, that, was, that, was that was quality. I want to do outdoor, though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be similar to, obviously F1. not an F1, yeah, but yeah. But I've done it once track. before and it was great fun, but you can't be as like aggressive. You can't like bump into each other because yeah. it's full, sort of. That's <laughs> the way it should be. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not bumper cars, mate. <laughs> oh, Husey, also just seen a little post from before, mate. What's doing with this horse? Mm. Yeah, a little, um, little teaser of the horse thing. Yeah, got going talk on. us through it because I know um, nothing about what you're talking about there. Yeah, well, uh, it's a little thing we got going with um, PSM Racing, uh, my management group, and um, Kieran Ma actually is going to be the trainer of it. Okay. So they got. Got a horse from the Magic Million sales. <laughs> um, they're going to use it as saying, I'm a coach of it. And uh, it's going to get people to buy shares in it and right. um, come along for the ride. So it's it's pretty cheap. I think it's um, on, plug it. 187 a share. Yeah. Um, nothing to pay for two years. So that's all the fees in that. Um, and then it's looking to race um, in November, the back oh, end, right. okay. two-year-olds. Yeah, right. Mm, so either back end of the year. Uh, that's what he was saying. Actually, Kieran Ma was saying that's the race he's Blue looking Diamond. for. The Blue Diamond is always for two-year-olds. Yeah. Well, that'd be nice. Mm. Yeah, well, so yeah. hoping it goes well, but oh, it should be good. a little bit of fun too. So that'd um, be a cool reach race into to your guys' to. pockets, boys, and um, well, I think the race is buy like two, 20% like, each. I think the race is like two or three mil. Yeah. Two-year-olds, yeah. He usually doesn't have a good track record, track record with um, – Going to see horses and them yeah. running in big races. Actually, Kieran Ma hit me up. <laughs> Some, someone from the the stable Probably hit me up and goes, "Do you have much like have you done much of horses?" And I was singing back to that All Star Mile Probably Bill. one. Probably Bill, that's the one. <laughs> and I was trying to think about, it and I didn't say anything, but I was thinking the last horse I'd done something with it, it got retired. <laughs> yeah, because the next it was a couple of days before the All Star Mile. Oh yeah, and it got like they're fully retired. Yeah, they? yeah. Because it might have did it die. I don't know if it died. I don't know if it died, but, but they retired. That's so sad. Yeah, I know. We both, me and, me and Pav's done a promo, um, oh, and they were like, yeah, cool, left. And then the next day, we've seen it on Instagram. Prob <laughs> Probably Bill's scratched. retired, and we're just like, bro, what did you do to it? Uh, <laughs> it was a good horse, too. Yeah, I know. Funnily enough, the year before, same thing happened with me, the with another horse. Yeah, they, oh, they scratched it from the race. Yeah, We'd done, like, the that? promo shoots, everything. Uh, mm, no, I don't know what horse it was now. Yeah. But 
it ended up getting scratched. And then there's probably one I was like, fuck, that's me Surely done for all stuff. I'm done now. And then I think we did one last year with, wasn't bro- I'm Thunderstruck. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I'm Thunderstruck. And then that one either passed or they retired it. Yeah. As so well. you don't know. So you're, not, good you're not doing any so they promos didn't hit me up this, They didn't hit me up this <laughs> year. I'm yeah. three in a row. I'm out. They didn't you up either after you retired three of their horses. Yeah, no way. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, what's been. That a good horse too, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You've that's got a good horse. No, that's a good horse. Thunderstruck. Uh, I'm thunderstruck. Yeah, well, was. I think it's done. Yeah, yeah it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Enough uh, of that. We hop into the icebreaker. We've dragged that out for a little bit, but um, sorry, boys, this one is from Samantha McDevitt. So thank you for your question. Um, and it is: If you were to live with one of the Storm Boys, who would it be, and why? I'm going to go Christian Welch. Oh, just because he's good at doing everything for me. Like he's. You know what I mean? He he would do the dishes and okay. he'll do my washing and stuff. He's just sort of like that. Yeah. And so you've got an ex housemate of Christian Welch in yeah. next year. So can we confirm? No, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but he's changed, hasn't he? Is it changed? Oh, I hope he's, he's changed. changed. He used to do the little annoying things like if I left my washing in there and it was wet, he wouldn't go and put in a, ba- a basket and like say, "Man, you go hang your washing out," or go and do that. He'd go and throw it on my bed where it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if he meant to do it or what, but he freaking used to do it all the time. He used to fucking grind my gears. And I'm like, mate, it's wet. Like, why would I want it on my bed? Yeah. Welchy, that's huge. That's yeah. huge. I don't know yeah. if he's trying to get back at me or not, but oh, so you, mate, it was, it grinded my you're gears. You can just do the house chores. Yeah, just, he's just a like, little, a ma- he's a maid, you know, like he's, yeah, okay. he's, he reminds me of a maid. So I'm thinking he'd be good. And like a chef as well, he'll cook for me. So I'll just have to feed his up. His banana and bread. He can do everything. His banana yeah. bread, he yeah. bakes. Okay. Um, <laughs> and apparently he does everything for his missus at home at the moment so yeah right um, oh, and his roommate Wilk, so bread. what a man I'll take okay. him as a mate right. slash Yuzi maid takes Welchie Welchie man oh I'm stuck here <laughs> do you want to go I'll go mine I'm going to go Zave mm. yeah nice I just think he's I just get along well with Zave and he just seems like a just a quiet person I think I'd like a quiet household seems like he'd just clean up his messes and yeah. stuff I think he is like that, actually. And he gives off those vibes. Just be really easy going. So yeah. I'm going to go Zave. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one, actually. I have room with Zave and uh, a couple of games. He was really good. Um, who am I going to pick? Oh. Who are you not picking? <laughs> um, definitely not picking Harry. <laughs> He's a little pest. Uh, he is he'll actually, be putting Vaso in your door yeah, handles. And yeah. He'd be an absolute nightmare. He'd be trying to scare you while you're showering. He's a Jack, pest. Jack's out. Check out with it out. Due to due to just oh, he's just too yeah. much. Although Ken Cook, Kenny, yeah. Ken Cook, yeah. Oh, well, that he's, might change a little thing. Sees, um, sees himself as quite a good cook. Got to clean though. I might, I might go Trudeau. Okay, the buns, the buns, the big buns. Yeah, right. The get windy. along with him well. The the windy. Laugh. I don't know if much is going to get done around the house. <laughs> but <laughs> I just feel like he'll bring a bit of morale and yeah, we'll have a good, good time. Good, I good think we'll have have similar like funny old ideas and stuff that we do. So. I can tell what channel would be on the TV yeah, the whole time. It'd be, it'd be NBA. NBA. Sky Racing and <laughs> NBA. Racing one, <laughs> and ESPN. <Split laughs> Sky Racing 2. <laughs> uh, uh, no, nah, Netflix. And Racing.com. Racing.com. <laughs> nah, thanks, Samantha. That's a That's great a question. question. And we are getting a question still from Spotify, so make sure you ask them. This is another one that was an icebreaker question, but we're sort of going off the back of our F1 chat. and. Yep. Obviously, Drive to Survive is a massive success and mm. quarterback, and mm. I think they're bringing another one out now. Well, even the golf receiver. one, I was watching that. Yeah, I've been watching it. Round good, two, man. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Two, yeah. yeah. I haven't yeah. seen that yet. So, just starting a little topic, do you think the NRL should do a Netflix special like Drive to Survive? And would you do a player or would you do like a few players within the team and then do like four different teams? Oh. I reckon they'd pick. I reckon you should pick three from each team. Some, I yep. reckon players from yeah. each team. I think it'd be a little different. Like, not all players are going to be doing the exact same thing as everyone else. Mm. You might pick one player, like, for example, you might do certain things that no people want to do. Mm. Yeah, I'll say kayaking. Kayaking, <laughs> fishing, and the making sharks and stuff. <laughs> like, like, and we play golf. We all three of us play golf, so that'd be pretty cool. But yeah. I think there's obviously a lot of other people that like to do other things as well. So it'd be oh. good to get diff- three different people from different teams or. I guess whoever's up for the, to do it. I mean, it'd be pretty personal. I reckon that'll have to start coming yeah. into your house and stuff. Yeah, it would be. Like it's, the quarterback. Have yeah. you watched quarterback? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty. It's pretty on it, full on. Eh? Yeah, that's pretty full on. Like, I feel like that's more full on than the, the golf one. Mm. Golf one's a little bit at home, but not much, as much as the quarterback yeah. one. We're like Mahomes and that. So I think it'd be pretty cool. Oh, I've, got, I've got an idea. Right? you got an idea? Just Talk come to me just there. then. Chuck it out there. Why don't they do it, right? I agree with mine, like three players from each team, just four teams. Yeah. 
But do it at the start of the year, and those four teams are the ones who go to Vegas the following year. Ooh, you know what I mean? Or something cool. like that. So it's like people can actually see who these people are, yeah. go on the journey with them, and then it's like they probably yeah. like kind of like a profile. Then we go the whole, profile. Yeah. The whole year. Mm. Yeah. You go to Vegas, good. play Vegas, and then rinse and repeat. Yeah, it's yeah, different yeah. because they did, like, I know that some people did uh, obviously um, Undisputed with Penrith and they did those videos, but they're not really going back to their ba- homes nah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Seeing, yeah, yeah, so it's all inside yeah. the obviously their um, home, don't, like the main where they train and that. So, mm, yeah. yeah, I guess some players will have to probably give up some privacy rights. Um, but yeah. at the same uh, time, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll sure the to money see Husey be, yeah. and they wiping, <laughs> sure wiping his ass from the front, <laughs> scr- scratching it up. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, sorry, guys, didn't see you there. Oh. Actually, who would be some players that you guys personally would think would fit oh. the mould of um, having uh, their own, um, you know, Netflix special on them? Yeah. I feel like you'd try to do someone who's out there but, like, not – like, you don't know too much about them, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. I feel like yeah. it sort of brings like so you you see Pat Mahomes right yeah and he's just like this gun on the field but you're like you, you know he's a family really man much. but you don't yeah, really yeah. see yeah. how he yeah. interacts I yeah. reckon that's a cool aspect of it yeah but then I reckon you got to do a little bit different like a family guy yeah yeah a single bloke yeah yeah a guy who's yeah, yeah you know like ma- like Kingy yeah like Kingy, just yeah. routine be, yeah full on full on Kingy would be pretty good actually yeah, yeah. he would yeah. be Josh King you get a lot of footage of him doing a lot of stuff I'd love to see his car like his K's from the club to home I'd love to see how many times he goes in the club without anyone looking yeah, yeah it'd just be that's all his petrol's used for eh? yeah just training home training home yeah. Chin would be another one he'd yeah. be the same Chin would be the same stretching in the mornings I hear yeah yoga a bit of everything that's <laughs> it good too. I reckon Fox would be a good one. Oh yeah it'd be pretty funny yeah he'd be a full Comedy, I reckon. <laughs> Foxy. You know, laughing off. all the time. <laughs> Don't have an off button. Family though, man as well. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he'd be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Smith, oh, actually, would Smithy be good? Cheezel. Yeah. You reckon? I think he'd do I reckon he'd I reckon he'd, 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 do, he'd do some. Yeah, he'd just do some random, random stuff. Random shit. I reckon, and just because he knows he's getting <laughs> videoed, he'd just yeah. pick up some random as hobbies, I reckon, oh, yeah. to make it look like he's a smart guy. <laughs> I reckon the first one you'd have to do like somewhat legit though. So like people are like, oh, they're not actually taking the piss. Taking the piss but then yeah. you do like the second season where it's like these guys who are achieving the same stuff, but they're just yeah. like so rogue. Out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. Nah, it should be good. good they, little, should, uh, they should do it. Food for thought. I wonder if what the budget is behind it. But Because remember they did the AFL draft one? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. That was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was pretty good. Seeing I the conversations that. that they'd sort of have behind the scenes. Yeah. and yeah, I didn't That was that. pretty in-depth like. They actually went in deep on like the negotiations and stuff, eh? Mm. On the players yeah. and the managers. It was actually a good watch. Because like yeah. obviously league's a little bit different, but like you'd still be having those conversations. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Guy coming off contract. True. Wonder or, if they would video that. Yeah. Like if a guy's at the back end of his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Just see how it works, but yeah, it might expose go. a few, yeah, a few people there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of blokes start, start playing good footy at the back end of their contracts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too smart. Would have loved to be a fly on the wall for your negotiations, yeah. man. That would have been a good one. <laughs> I'm still broke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're up to our listener, listener question of the week. New segment. Uh, like we said, all the questions come through Spotify. Yeah. So um, we did look at all of them this week. Uh, we do look at YouTube as well, but we're going to pick for this segment off Spotify. So mm-hmm. um, we have a couple. Um, but if you do want to enter to get your question answered, just head to Spotify, write a question you want asked, and we'll pick one or two or three. If there's... Five great questions. We'll answer the five questions. So yeah. um, we've got two this week. And Sorry. the first one's from Josh White. It is, Josh hey, White. lads, what has been your favorite Guernsey you've worn in the past? Obviously, Guernsey is a Victorian sort of term, but Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. I'm going to go straight out and say the Heritage okay. one with the collar. Mm, I was thinking that. Yeah, but the, the other one? Yeah. Is that that's, last year? Um, I reckon we wore it in 2021. Yeah, yeah, it was 21, 21. the white and yellow yeah. collar. Yeah, yeah, we played. That was nice. I think we played Penrith. Manly. Penrith and Manly, maybe? Yeah, yeah. We Something wore it like a couple yeah. of times, yeah. That's my yep. favorite. That Hands was pretty down. good, actually. Yeah. Yep. I'll probably go that one as well. But also, I don't know if it's just because it was the game or if it was the actual jersey itself, but the Cam Smith 400 one. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was pretty nice. dope. I actually, I was looking at it the other day in my wardrobe. I was like, Shit, this is mad. Yeah. Get it framed. Um, yeah, I've got to get it framed. <laughs> get him to um, sign it Yeah, first. I was going to say, I'll try to get, try to message Smitty, probably won't reply, but um, yeah, it'd be good to get him signed and get it 
frame. But yeah, I don't know if it's the design. Like it's it's, it's a cool looking jersey, but I think it's the whole significance. Con- yeah. Of it. yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, probably the two. I got um I got I'm trying to get JT and Smith this on the Invitational jersey. I was the oh, testimonial yeah. one. That's right. Yeah, I, I, I got one of them. Oh, there you see. So I get this. snuck in the 25. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty. That's right. Get, get into oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Good at that. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty. Yeah. Well, well when you send it off to him, can I throw mine in with yeah, you? Yeah, throw it in there. In a testimonial jersey. Mm. Yeah. That's a throwback. It's that 2018. Was a that was like a wider. Yeah, mm. white like uh, it was like cowboy colours, but then also it was like Storm. Australian, I think it was Maroon and then as well yeah. with their colours as well. With their so. club teams, yeah, like yeah, junior yeah. club teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was cool, cool actually. Yeah. That was a song court. We played that. Mm, no, I remember just down, remember? Yeah, I remember JT put the ball on the dime and Kyle Felt scored the child in like 10 seconds left. Yeah, that's right. right. You, were, you get KO'd that game? Nah, you did I dislocated my shoulder. That's right. That's how I only got game time because you went off. my shoulder. <laughs> Bro, that's the funny story about that. I was, um, I remember I was, I think I was just coming back from my Liz Frank and I played that game. They're like, just play 20 minutes and then come off. So I played the first 20 and I looked at the clock. It was like 23 minutes. And I was thinking, ah, oh, surely I'm off soon. Next minute, boom, dislocated shoulder. I think someone oh, landed on top of me. Yeah. You like dove over the dead ball. Yeah, line, yeah. And then someone like, I think it was Lowy actually, Ethan Lowe, like landed on me and then Lowy. boom, gone. I was like, no. What a dog. That's, nah. um, that's actually funny you say that, right? Because I remember in the Knights trial, they were trying to pull you off with like you've done your time or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you try to stay on, and <laughs> yeah, I was like, so like, I think the same, right? I'm like, oh, like if I stay on, something will happen. Yeah, but like, yeah. It's happened to you. So good yeah. on you. You got over your yeah. fear. Yeah, I did. But well, <laughs> I, actually, I actually forgot about it until we just sprang that oh, jersey sorry, up. So. so now I'm rattled. There you go. <laughs> Mad. We'll get, we'll get photos of them up. Heritage jersey 2021. Yeah. Testimonial jersey 2018. Mm. I reckon. 2017 yeah, 18. Was the first. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. JT for retired in 2018. Yeah, yeah. Cam Smith 400 as well against the mm. Sharks. Because he retired because he didn't play the 2017 Grand Final because he was injured the whole year. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Very good question, that's Josh. Good thank question. you. That's a great question. And next one, Sheridan Casley. All right. Would you rather listen to the same song for the rest of your life, or only be able to listen to a song once? Listen to the same song for the rest of your life. I'm guessing that's just the only song you ever listen to. Or only be able to listen to a song once. Yeah. (laughs) Last night. (laughs) (laughs) I'm probably going to go just the song once. Mm. Yeah. Because you you can listen to as many songs as you want. Wow. (laughs) Actually, now that you think about it, if if you had a good song, you don't get to listen to it again, but... But in saying that, if you're going to... Switch it up. Like, you'll eventually find good songs, surely. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. But what if you go to a house party and you're there and you can only play your song the whole time? Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> switch it up. I, yeah, I'm switch, switch it up. up. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you as well. Like, imagine, you know when you listen to a song too much and you're just like. I was about to say that. It goes like in three days and you're just like. <laughs> you learn the lyrics and you're like, yeah, yeah. no, nah, that's it's not the same. Anymore. You head button the wall. It's in your liked songs and then it's out of your liked songs really quickly. So, yeah, uh, I think we all agree. Uh, yeah. 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 Different, different switch songs. But yeah. thanks to the question, Sheridan. Like we said, Head to Spotify and type your question up and we will answer it uh, each week. So a couple of good ones. I think there was nearly 20 up there this week. So a few to pick from, but uh, yeah, that's what Tommy's picked out this week. So mm. thank you, guys. Thank you. But uh, yeah, now we're on to a bit of a weekend recap. Bit of footy talk. Footy. Mm. Bit of footy chat. Um, <laughs> yeah, Paps, how did it go? Obviously, we didn't get the um, get the dub. I thought we were going to run run away with it late, mm. uh, run home, but um, unfortunate. Um Tough loss, but yeah. Um, how did it feel out like there? Yeah, it was, it was quite a similar situation to last week. To be yeah, fair, like yeah. it felt yep. very similar. Uh, I think the only difference was it was an away crowd, so they weren't cheering for you. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were sort of against, against you. Them. So yeah. once we started coming back, it sort of went quiet. And yeah, like, yeah, it was really sort of weird, but uh, yeah, it was disappointing. Like we we probably had our opportunities to get in front and win the game, but. Um, no, Knights were, Knights were good. They showed up. They played like mm. a team that was desperate mm. and probably a little bit more desperate than us on the night. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, really, like the crowd was amazing. Like we've had three good games with three good, good crowds. crowds. So yeah, yeah. hopefully we can continue that. I think we got Broncos for our next game after the bye. But, yeah, yeah disappointing um, to lose. But at the same time, we still had an opportunity to, to win. tie the game or win. Yeah. And, yeah, just didn't ice it. So one of those ones that you feel like got away and yeah. they hang with you a little bit. But yeah, the boy. I think the boys did all right. Like obviously missing you guys at the moment, and oh, I yeah. think you're playing some really good footy. Perhaps it's good to watch, man. Uh, I know it's 
probably hard for you to say. <laughs> you're not playing the footy you're playing, but um, for me, watching from the last couple of weeks, mate, you've been outstanding and playing with a lot of confidence and it's a pleasure to, to watch, mate, and uh, hopefully you can keep going, mate, because you're playing pretty good and it's exciting to watch too from the TV. Yeah, you're going well, mate. Thanks, um, perhaps, but, uh, um Yeah, like you said, I reckon just watching from home, um, you know, just that first half, it was a game of two halves, like you said, eh? Hey, like, like last week, I think we were the better team in the first half and mm. the second half um, we got rolled and then I feel like um, the week just gone, first half we probably weren't playing our best, too many drop balls, and then the second half we were flying. So it's just one of those ones. I, I guess it's it's early in the season, so yeah. it's the sort of things that if we can find consistency, consistency through the whole, whole game, we'll be right. But I love the fight. Like Obviously the boys were down early, but I don't know what Craig said in the – and the changing sheds, they panned to him for a bit and he didn't look happy, but um, you guys come out really strong and, you know, probably unlucky not to get the win. So. Yeah. I think we like we got that belief there. I think that's what's really cool, you know. You look yeah. around the side and whoever's there, like, we obviously miss you guys at the moment, but I think guys just believe that we could, like, we can do it, yeah. you know, and that's, that's really cool to be a part of. But like I said, the first half, so there was a massive win behind Newcastle in the first half. Yeah. Um, so then we're in the, in the sheds at halftime and like, it's all right, boys, we've got the win now. Yeah, like, yeah. it'll be like, let's just play our footy and get down the field. And like, they scored two tries. So why can't we score two tries? Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. Ran out to the second half. Did it do the reverse? No wind at all. Oh. <laughs> it fully died down. It was like, what? They, they must have had the fans they, up or something. They know, they know their field yeah, too well. Yeah. yeah. But uh, like, those are those things, like little things you don't think about, but like having the wind, a yeah, bit yeah. of an advantage in the first half for them. So, yeah. uh, But in saying that, we created opportunities. We probably should have scored two or three tries mm. in the first half and we just did nice. Yeah. So there was one time I went through and threw it to Brick and Ponga went straight to Brick. I could yeah, have just kept yeah, running. Yeah, and yeah. I was hoping you would have. Um, Pez's kick and then Wishy just air swung at the ball. Yeah, like Just little yeah. opportunities like that. Was so. that a set play with Harry at the start of the game hitting Trenny on the fifth tackle? Oh. How about that? Or oh, the kick. Oh, <laughs> the grubber. Trini's got his uh, kicking license Take revoked. I'm sure, <laughs> sure, sure Bel like, sure Air got half time would have been giving him a wrist off, but Harry, mate, hit, hit he hit Jonah there. Up, X, he got X out there. Yeah. He got, he Trini pain. got set up. He, he, he gets the ball bastard. on last. Poor Trini. What else? And then he kicks him. <laughs> it's probably the worst thing you'd do, but it's not his fault. He's, he was set up for failure that one. It's not the worst rookie kick I've ever seen. That's brother in law there. Brother in law, it's the connection. He's probably got him in trouble there. It's nearly blood. On a serious note, who who was in high in the air on the weekend? Was it you this week against the Knights or was it X last week against the Warriors? Who was up higher? Well, I was severely wrong last week with X's prediction. I said three seconds. Yeah. And it was 0.7. But we've got a little clock up here. So I feel like I can reference it more. I'm going to say. I'm going to say I was in the air longer this week. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon you were. you're a second. I reckon you're up there for a second. Yeah. Nah, because you hung up there for a bit and then you got your legs taken, then which keeps you flip. in the air a bit longer, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're sort of there, legs up, bang. So I reckon you were in the air for a little bit longer than X. It dead set felt like 10 seconds. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, I, I remember just being in the air, like, where am I going to land here? Yeah. Like, you got no control over your down, body. Yeah. Like, um. But, like, I used to be able to backflip when I was a kid. So, like, it's probably the closest thing I've ever felt to being able to do that again. Yeah, but yeah. just didn't. Oh, oh, you're probably lucky you didn't backflip because oh, you, oh. you landed pretty I'm, good. I'm so lucky, yeah. yeah I'm so lucky, lucky I landed how I did. But I bet you everyone at home was holding their breath. We were. Yeah, I was, um, oh, I was thinking, say. no. And then when you got up, you started smiling. Oh, <laughs> sweetie's all right. That's all yeah. good. It's one of those ones that, like, good. if you stay down, that's one of those, like, catch 22, right? If I stay down, does he go to the bin? Yeah. But then I'm like, I would go off as well. Yeah, because you stayed you know, down. Like, long, I stayed yeah, down, but yeah. I think there was part of me because I'd obviously had a pretty bad run the last couple of years. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm like, the, I, it took the wind out of me, but yeah. I'm fine. You I know? reckon that initial <laughs> when you landed, you're sort of like, I don't know, I'm just guessing, so but shocked. your look was like, yeah. fuck, have I done something? Yeah. And then you sort of moved around and then you fell all right. Obviously, you're winded. Yeah. But you just like expect something to yeah, hurt. Yeah, but especially. it was just like I'd just been winded. And then you sort of do a check with your body and like, I'm good here. Yeah, you know? good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's well, get well, out. good, mate. Yeah, a bit yeah. sorted, yeah. Didn't look good. <laughs> yeah, lucky we got a buy. At least you can. Um, we'll say you know, today, recover. like, if you're like, Leah Thompson's, what probably six foot three. Like, just think, like, if you're sitting on like a six foot three wall, and you fall backwards, backwards. yeah, yeah. Like, but that's just it's like the hurt. whole thing about adrenaline, right? Like, when you're in a game, you don't really. Nah. You don't think about it. You don't expect it to be yeah. there, but yeah, I reckon yeah, if you're sitting on the wall like you're speaking about, yeah, you're, thinking, yeah. you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, this is going to hurt. I'm going. But yeah. no, nah, disappointing. Um, but we're back at home. 
not this weekend because we've got the bye, but yeah. Um, yeah, next weekend against Brisbane. So that'll be another be a big game. Stuff. And uh, man, we've had a few people stressing. You sort <laughs> of contradicted what you said last week, but I, I knew what you meant. But I think people sort of took it as you're going to be out for the whole season. But yeah, so there's been um, a worried, a lot of worried comments. Saying, <laughs> yeah, do you want to clarify? <clears throat> Clear it up. Oh, Clear it up. Well, when, the, we, um, when we spoke about this on the potty, it was last Tuesday. And then um, Tommy and um, obviously the media department decided to put it up two days ago. <laughs> so I wasn't running that well <laughs> last Tuesday. So I was pretty pretty down the dumps kicking stones. So I'm um, a little bit more optimistic like I spoke about in that potty. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to play next week. Um, but i got to get through all the right procedures this week and hopefully get on the field tomorrow with you boys. and. Uh, rub some shoulders and touch a football. I haven't seen. I didn't even know what that looks like or feels like the last six <laughs> or seven weeks. So, um, so, yeah. So hopefully I can get out there and throw the ball. I might be throwing a couple of hail marys to the people's feet, but <laughs> I'd rather be doing that than uh, running straight grid lines all day. So, yeah, exciting times. Let's see how I go. Yeah, to be fair, because I got suspended. Um, Tactical suspension. At the weekend so off. Could go to the F1. At the weekend <laughs> off. Yeah, no, but I had to train a couple times. Okay. With um, the injured crew. So big fellow over here. Uh, me and him were. We're training together, and he does look good. So he's still looking quick. We're doing these one-on-one -on -one drills, and he's still got that quick feet on him. So. He's chomping at the bit. Look at him. He's yeah. chewing his fingers. Yeah. He's just, get him back in there. And he's, he's got the itchy feet. <laughs> I do, but – And he's keen to play football. He's oh. just got itchy feet from – I have to play um, the puff bench ball playing lock. <laughs> <laughs> play 10 little minutes in, yeah, here and there, and bang, there you go. And he was smoking everyone on MAS no, too, so no. he's yeah. leaving everyone in the dust. You were looking very fit, actually, before you hurt yourself. Like you were, <laughs> He was up there. Fit in those Broncos, Broncos yeah. yeah. You were carving it up. So the first couple. That'll yeah, give you a bit of confidence. confidence. <laughs> yeah. I think I, sm I was going really hard on the first lap with Bronco, and then I literally looked behind, and well, she was beating me after that. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, first ever best yeah, yeah, I know, was but it was, it was getting to a stage where I was like, oh, I can't keep going hardy. Otherwise, I want to be able to beat Welsh. I won't yeah, be able to. So that would be. He wouldn't. He wouldn't let you put nah, that down either. No, nah, so. exactly. So I don't care whoever beats me in Broncos or fitness. So he just can't be it. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, we talk about the bye week, lads. What are we all getting up to? What's anything planned? Any getaways or you guys training? Um, no, nah, I'm I'm staying put. Uh, I'll probably just have the feet up for a couple of days. Might try slipping the game of golf. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, and we got a pretty serious trivia night coming up. So that's right. I'm locking into that because I love winning my trivia. Thursday and I'm a smart night. guy. Thursday, Thursday night. night. Do you get your outfit yet? Uh, I don't. Yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, I'm outside the box. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. like this. I'm really outside. Yeah. Don't the box. mention it because no, no, I'm not going to mention it because this will come out in two more days and it'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about it next week. Mm. Put up some photos. Put up some content. Mm -hmm. It'd be good. I um, wear it in here next time. Uh, true. Like, next wear it in next Tuesday. I don't know if mine's come yet. I ordered it today and it's going to be touch and go. Express. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but. I reckon you should go as a sumo wrestler. Yeah, I got the I got the uh, body for it. So, <laughs> <laughs> may as well. Um, you can get those blow up suits, though. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, actually. So that's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Trivia. Yeah, and we got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, off. Saturday, Sunday. So, knowing myself, if I have a couple beers, I'll be sleeping for two days. <laughs> um, and then, nah, man, um, chilling, bro. Um, Easter, I might go see the nieces and nephews actually. Take them some Easter eggs. Um, do all that family stuff. And would love to go away, but I feel like three days is just not long enough to get away. Yeah, um, and we play Thursday. So yeah. So you don't really want to be getting yeah. too rowdy after after Thursday. So yeah, probably just not chill so and get ready for uh, the Bronx. What's your uh, Easter egg of choice? I'm plain. Like just I, plain, I'm just plain. a bunny. Yeah, just a bunny, yeah, yeah. Cadbury bunny. No, I can appreciate that. Yeah, I'm simple when it comes to bunnies, but chocolate. Like as people know, the Kit Kat white chocolate. Yeah, Kit Kat. Mm. You go. pig for that, aren't you? Whitty kids, Whitty kids. Now, although shout out to my New Zealanders, <laughs> but uh, I do like Whitty kids. But Kit Kat's just been my favorite for a long time. So okay, um, shout out to Kit Kat. Uh, man, what, up to? what are you getting up to? Um. Look, unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to go on a two-day bender with like what, like Husey. I've got two kids. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Thursday trivia, um, and then uh, I haven't got anything planned. I was going to go down to Phillip Island for the weekend um, and yeah. stay at Airbnb, but um, too expensive. Didn't realize it was Easter oh. weekend. So. What are we talking? I, I haven't even looked. I was going to. I was Airbnb down Sorrento, but I haven't even looked. What have are we talking? Looked? Oh, probably with, with my two kids and stuff and yeah. dogs. Yeah, true. So, oh, yeah. yeah, we've got dogs as well, so that, that puts on a little bit. So we're going to put almost three and a half, four grand, I reckon. Oh. 
So I'm not not wasting that for the three days weekend. So Damn. just sitting in the the fortress at home and the four walls and um, watching the kids jump all over me. So it's exciting times <laughs> ahead. Any? Uh, are you one of those parents that will do the full Easter egg Easter egg hunt setup? You know how they do the bunny do the bunny paws? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't be. But nah, I'm not. I'm not. Bianca does well, it. Bianca him, do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Bianca he gets does up all. more excited than the kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's been in the house? Would she do it though or nah? Oh, she'd be all over it. She's yeah, loves that stuff. She, she loves that stuff. Even birthdays. I'm not a big fan of birthdays either. And she gets like real excited about Christmas as well. Like first of December, get the Christmas tree up. First of December. Because it's December. I'm like, no, I and don't it care. Take it down until it February. Take, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're uh, the Grinch fun as well. Not the Grinch, but it's not. It's just not hates a big, everything. It's not a big fan of <laughs> hates birthdays. Just, hates Easter. It's not a big fan of it all. I just think it's another day. You know, another day, another dollar. Um, <laughs> No. Nah. Easter egg, though. Exactly. Favorite Easter egg? Yeah, favorite Easter egg. Oh, as a kid or now? As a kid? Oh, I'd probably. Because you obviously don't eat them now. Like, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I'm just... lean, mean, fight machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually on a cleanse at the moment. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to say, yeah, I'm just Cadbury. Um, I do like caramel, milk, but I'm just, East, just a normal Easter egg. Like yeah. Yeah. Actually, there's one when I was a kid, I used, it used to be like a footy. Yeah, Do you remember the ladder? ladder on the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was cool. Footy. Yeah, that's cool. why with the ladder. That was with the ladder. Yeah, and you used to change it in that. The that's chocolate was horrible, but like, yeah, 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 it was yeah. just. But it's because it was a footy. You're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this tastes nice. It's gold. This tastes nice. Yeah, gold, yeah, gold and red. Colors, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was red for a few years. Oh, it's that's that nostalgic. That. Yeah. Tell me yeah. what's doing this weekend. Yeah, kayaking. Uh, yeah, no, you know what? I might go kayak with the Mako Sharks. Oh, I did country. see those comments. Everyone haven't seen one yet. True though. Are they? I don't know. Are they just tossing that up? Did they put in any? Links to show yeah, us. Yeah, unless we can get some photos of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. there's no proof, but yeah. I reckon you just sit in your little kayak and just start throwing a bit of bait around you, yeah, see yeah. if anything pops but, up. Yeah. Well, I've got fishing rods now, so I can, I've got the attachments, I can stick them into the kayak. I wouldn't be sticking them in the kayak. I reckon you, the kayak might flip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just start rolling with you. Yeah, it could, but no, I, I might do some kayak. I was thinking of going down to Sorrento for the, the weekend. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, And yeah, using the kayak, get the paddleboard, stand up paddleboard out. That'd it's supposed nice. to be like 30 degrees for three yeah, days. Yeah, someone said so. it's hot. Yeah, yeah, I think right. my sister said it was hot. But. I'll go buy some uh, chocolate bunnies from uh, Coles, mm -hmm. head down there, and yeah, just have some time. Not going home? So, not going no, home. Flights are too expensive. Yeah, Easter. So, yeah, it was, like a few weeks ago, I looked at it, and I was like, it's not too bad. Maybe, yeah. But then Easter I was just like, because we play Thursday again, it's yeah. sort of like, I want to spend some time down here. I haven't really had a good chunk in Chun Melbourne, yeah, especially when like, the weather's nice. Would you have gone home if we didn't have any commitments on Thursday? Like it. probably, yeah, he's having a sh he's having a shot at Lockie here. I am. I probably would have, but at the same time, like we don't get another um, opportunity yeah, with the partners everyone. and the Q Cup boys Q to Cup have boys a drink up. Buy, so I'm like, so. I sort of get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then yeah, it sort of forced me to stay down here and I guess enjoy the weekend. Yeah. I think my family goes away for East anyway. So. Not too sure. <laughs> go home, go home to no one. I think they go away. They go away. <laughs> yeah. Not too sure. Uh, oh, well, hopefully there's a little good weekend mm. and then Should be good. take the buy and then roll into. I think our next buy is ages We've got away. got a pretty big block, so yeah. good to, to get through this part. Yep. Good little start to season. But uh, no, now we're up into our sponsored segment, Rick's Eyewear oh, Eye-Catching Moment of the Week. So before we get into it, mm. we've got the briefcase again to pick out our – I think we're going different from last week. Yeah, I'll switch it up. Switch up. They are my favourites though, the Storms, the Stormers, the Melbourne Stormers. But I'm going to go, I'm gonna I'm gonna go light this week. Keep it light, touch. I'm going to keep it light. All right. Uh, what do we got here? I might go the cherries. Oh, the che uh, that's not the cherries. Where's the Soho cherries? There you go. Look at myself. Oh, no, in that's them. not the Soho's. Oh, these are all right with the kit. Oh, you like it? Sales. Yeah. They look pretty good, actually. I'll take that. I'm going to go the- um, You might not get these back, Tommy. I should have a pair of them at home. These ones? Yeah. yeah. That's the ones I got um, when, we, when we heat them up. The big, the big man's telling us there's a massive sale yeah, this week huge too. Sale, 65% huge. off. Huge Buy sale. one, get four, three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but it's 20% off for our Clubhouse members as well. If you type in Clubhouse, you'll get a discount too. But head to the website, check out the sale. Um, but Mun, you've got our eye-catching moment this week um, and a very valid one too, I reckon. Mm. Yeah. Apparently he's a mates now, so. Yeah, we're a bit close now. I've met him in Ferrari. Um, massive news. Um, obviously, Lewis Hamilton signed with Ferrari next year. Um, and Carlos Sainz hasn't got a, a sponsor for next year. And um, just goes to show, uh, when you're getting challenged and the back's against the wall, they obviously thrive. And he won the F1 in uh, Melbourne this year, mate. So mm. uh, I know Ferrari had a good a good day. It was obviously first and second with Charles Leclerc. But um, I think just shows that Carlos is... Ready to make it imprint. He's got his head on and wants to obviously 
prove uh, Ferrari wrong, and I'm sure he will. Obviously, if he's done what he done in Melbourne, um, obviously last weekend, I'm sure he'll do it again soon. And I'm pretty sure he was like in hospital all week. I think he had his appendix yeah, out or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, he had uh, had surgery or something on one of his body parts. Yeah, yeah so hadn't trained all week and just yeah. rocks up and, and wins and wins. So that's eye catching. Carlos, like all our eye catching moments of the week, we know you're watching, mate. So yeah. congratulations, you are our yeah Rick's yeah. eye catching moment. Reply of the to week. one of our messages and we'll send you some. <laughs> I'll, I'll message you later, mate. I still got your Ferrari. I got your Ooh, Ferrari. I'll give it over to you later. You, are you claiming that you're a big reason why they won Ferrari because you went in you there, there to the ball or? Well, I just went up to him and just kept it simple. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what did, you, what did you tell him? Tell him, give us your advice. See, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> Ricky Famous Bobby. Ricky Bobby once told me that. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. And he won. And he won. Oh, right. And okay. uh, Magic it was work. actually a pretty crazy day. Max Verstappen got done in the yeah. early. Race early. Race three. Early. And just tire yeah, pop. Yeah, yeah. Blew and up. It was on fire. It was on fire. And then um, Lewis, Lewis Hamilton. Too. Well. And Lewis yeah, Hamilton. Yeah, it's the first time in two, uh, since 2010 he never polled in the top six for his trolls. Wow. So it just shows it was a crazy day. and. Ferrari just too good, too good. Yeah. Melbourne turned weather it was on good. too. Massive. It was great weather. Yep, great part of the world, Melbourne. But yes. uh, not well done, Carlos Sainz. Our, our catching moment of the week. So mm, well, well done, mate. Um, which leads us into our next one, our another segment, Clubhouse Leader of the Week. Mm. And I believe Hughesy's got one for us. Yep. Uh, once again, very deserving this week. Yeah. And, um, very deserving. One of your fellow countrymen yeah, as well. Yeah. Fellow countryman, uh, my mate, I'll call him my mate. Uh, <laughs> you know, played together, <laughs> teammates. But um, yeah, bags. Benji Marshall. Mm. Um, he's my clubhouse leader of the week. Uh, he's been getting roasted. Obviously, first year as Tigers coach. Uh, the media being stuck into him about being a part time coach and not a full time coach. And um, you know, he was probably a little bit disgusted at that and pretty disappointed. <laughs> and to see what they done um, on the weekend. Mm. Beat the Sharks and, you know, Sharks were been flying too. So uh, it wasn't an easy game, but to see them win at Leichhardt Oval in front of their, you know, the faithful fans and it was a pretty dominating win to be yeah, to yeah, be it fair. Was like it wasn't just a, you know, close game. They they dominated. So uh, shout out to Benji. Shout out to the Tigers team. Uh, Uppy Coruscant had a blinder and it was good to see our mate Juzzy Olam. Uh, yeah, freak, yeah. Big fear. He was, he was. Was he was, up, he was quite scary, wasn't he? The so, crowd whenever he got the ball too. And he was running hard, oh, yeah. tackling hard. And, too oh, tackling I, hope he, I hope you don't have to play him. But, <laughs> uh, but shout out to Bags, Benji. Um, Benji Marshall was doing great things at the West Tigers and it's good to see him um, prove the doubters wrong. So uh, shout out Benji. Nice Benji. Oh, and I think um, Appy had gastro as well. Yeah, yeah. So I think he had gastro. That too. That's a huge out and killed it. So yeah. <laughs> kudos to you, mate. I reckon if I'm sick, I'm I'm out for two <laughs> well, weeks. I was well, I was crook leading into the game as well. well yeah. I, like I remember for flu game, I was like to the doc. I was like, I need something here. Yeah, like, yeah. Just give me something to get me through. Get me go. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, for him to have the game he had after having ten times worse, worse what I had, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. that's unbelievable. Michael Jordan might yeah. the flu, flu game. Flu, flu game must be. Is it Who had that or? last year? I'm telling you, it's flu you? game. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. have flu game last year? He had a flu yeah. and he killed it too. Yeah. Well, I it's typical. Like, Maybe I you should go in with a flu and then fever. You're everyone aiming. who's bloody actually, I always get a fever yeah. around finals time. Fever, finals, finals, fever. Finals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Maybe we should wrap it up now because it's about <laughs> to be <get> forty-five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I got another story. Nah, we nah, all nah, had a, <laughs> we all had a prediction before the podcast what the time stamp would be for this, and it's currently at forty-four seconds, forty-four minutes, and fifteen seconds. I've predicted 45. Hughes is 47. Seven. Mine's 50. Long so long that'll long. do us for the week, lads. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, no. We've got our giveaway next week. Oh, giveaway. Signed jersey giveaway next week. Yeah. So um, I don't know which jersey yet, but I do have Simon at home. I'll yep. be bringing that in. Yep. And we will That's be giving it away. Home. So uh, make sure you keep an eye out for how we're going to give it away. But obviously, if you listen to this episode, it's going to go a long way. So um, it will be something to do with commenting on Spotify, I'm pretty sure, but make sure you follow um, Sign Storm Jersey giveaway to kick off the Clubhouse Season 2. So make sure you tune in for that. Um, but yeah, for now, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Like we said, we love the comments. YouTube, especially Spotify, really helps us out. And yeah, any feedback, any segments, anything you sort of want us to talk about, make sure you do it. Um, but no, thanks for coming in, lads. It's good to see we're all back and hopefully we're all on the field together come the Broncos game. Enjoy the bye, boys. Enjoy Everybody. the bye, boys. Ew. Thanks to everyone that has tuned into the Clubhouse podcast. Please make sure you have hit the subscribe button on all our channels and also following us on social media at Oz American Aces so that you don't miss out on any announcements. 
Catch you at the clubhouse. Bricks Eyewear is having a massive end of season sale right now, and we've got an elite offer that's exclusively for the clubhouse. Get up to 65% off and a free gift if you spend over $250. Use our code CLUBHOUSE and you'll receive an extra 5% off site-wide. This offer won't last long, so don't miss out.